In this video we'll show how you can create an alpha DAO connection string that implements an audit trail so every time you make an update uh, to a SQL uh, database a new record will be added to the audit trail database. So to do this we'll create a new connection string so we'll go here and we'll say new connection string and we'll choose the custom connection type so I'll call this uh, my audit trail go ahead there and build a new connection using the custom option and basically here I can choose a predefined sample class that implements the audit trail so I'll go here and say show samples and then I'll go here and show the sample for an audit trail driver so here is the uh, XBasic class that implements that. So this is the sample class. We're going to just go ahead now and save it. And then we'll go ahead there and select it. So now we basically get the builder for this uh, audit trail driver. And you can see that what we need to specify is the connection string to the database that we actually want to do edits in. The connection string to the table to the database where the audit table itself is is stored. So let's go here and say we'd like to do uh, edits in the Northwind connection, and I'm going to basically uh, also choose uh, the Northwind connection here because this is where I've created my audit table. So I'll go here and choose uh, Northwind again. Then I can specify the name of the audit table in this uh, database. So here's my uh, audit table that I've previously created. And then I just need to map the fields in this audit table to the required fields. So there's a field called operation. Well, there's a requirement for a field that stores the operation type. Was it an insert, um, update, or delete operation? So I'll go there and choose operation. And this is the name of the user ID who made the edit. This is the date time uh, when the edit was made. This is the table that was um, edited. This is the field that contains the data that was uh, uh, updated. And in the case of an, ins of an update or a delete operation, this is the original data. And then also in the case of an update or delete, this is the where clause that was used in the SQL statement. So I go ahead there and click OK and then OK. And now I've got a new driver that's going to be used to update the um, customer, to, to update the Northwind database. And every time I do any type of uh, um, CRUD operation, a record will be also added into the um, audit table um, database as well. So let's pause now and then in the next video we'll pick it up and we'll actually show the audit table in action. So we're continuing now discussing how you can basically create an audit trail connection string driver in Alpha Anywhere. So we've previously defined our uh, connection string. Let's go ahead now and use it. So we'll go here and say CN and then uh, f uh, question mark CN dot open. And we'll just right click over here and type in my audit trail. So there we go. Now we have, we've opened our connection to the order trail driver, which is just a pass through to the Northwinds um, database. And now we're going to basically execute a SQL um, update statement. But before we do that, we'll go ahead and look at the order trail table. And we can see that currently there are no records in this table. So we're going to go ahead now and execute the SQL update statement. So you can see it succeeded. And if we go now and look at our audit trail um, database, we'll do a refresh here. And we can see that one record has been added. If we switch over to form view, we can see that we did an update statement. This was the date and time when we did that statement. This is the data that we set in the record. This was the previous data um, in the record before the um, edit was made. And this was the WHERE clause that was used for the update statement. So what we've shown over here is how you can create a driver that automatically implements an audit trail every time a CRUD uh, action is executed against a SQL database. Thanks very much for watching.